Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes? Welcome. Yes. Good evening. I'm sorry for the delay. How are you today? I am fine. All right. And the other students? Hello, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to tonight's session. Are you ready? Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to hear you. Hello, how you doing, guys? Welcome to our, our session, our second session tonight. Thank you for your punctuality. Welcome, Edwin Rodriguez. How are you tonight? Good? Good. Pretty good? Excellent. Um, so, so. So, so. I'm sorry. So, so. It's like regular. Right, so yes. maybe there is a problem, there is a situation going on. So I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Edwin. I hope tomorrow is a better day for you. Yes. Tomorrow is a better day for you, okay? Welcome, okay. welcome, welcome. Hello, Mr. Ramon Escoto. Good evening, good evening, sir. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> You're raining. I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Did you you have dinner already, guys? You had your dinner or after the class? After the class. <laughs> after the class. Yes, teacher. I have dinner. Ah, okay, <laughs> Tatiana has power. Ah, Tatiana has power. Tatiana had dinner already, right, Tatiana? <laughs> yes, teacher. So you have energies. Do you have energies right now for the class, Miss Tatiana? The other students will have dinner after the class. So just like me, just like your teacher. Anyways, welcome to tonight's session. I'm so happy to see you. Uh, let me see. I see three, six, nine students exactly. Um, we're supposed to be 10 students. So I'm not sure what's happening. Let's wait a little bit for your classmates. In the meantime, let's practice a little bit about yesterday's class. Do you remember a little bit about yesterday's class? We spoke about ways of transportation. Do you remember ways of transportation? For example? Recording in progress. Hey, the boss. Yes, for example, take the bus. What else? Drive the car. Drive a car, yes. What else? Ride a motorcycle. Ride, ride a motorcycle. Yes, that's correct. Uh huh? Uh huh? Only that? Ride a taxi. Bicycle. Ride a bicycle, yes. Yeah. Some people ride a bicycle to go to work. Someone said take a taxi or take a cab. That's correct. That's correct. Work. Or the economic, the economic way. Walk. Work. Or 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 on foot. Right. Repeat uh, on foot. On foot. On foot. Foot. On foot. On foot. On foot. foot. Which on is foot. in Spanish, a pie. On foot. <laughs> That's right. So what is the question for transportation? Do you remember the question? To get to know about transportation? How do you... Uh... Almost, 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 almost. How do you... How do you to work? 
The transportation. How, how do did you... you get to work? How do you go? How, how do you get to work? Vamos a usar get to work porque get tiene muchos significados. Los reto a que vayan a internet y que busquen ahí get y vean todos los meanings que tiene get, todos los usos. Les va a ayudar mucho uh, uh, porque get es bien eh, útil, right? En este caso, get to work es como llegar al trabajo. Get to work. How do you get to work? Repeat, guys. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? Get to work? Okay. Do you remember yesterday um, your classmates' example a little bit? Or you don't remember at all? Ya no se acuerdan, I, go, I go to work by car. I go to work by car. Correct, by car. correct. In the car, in, on the car, um, no, 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 no. It's better to say by my car, by taxi, by bus, etc. All right, all right, all right. How do you get to work? How do you get to work, Edwin? I always take a bus. You always take a bus. Very well. Be careful. Be careful, okay? Be careful, Be careful with the with the pickpockets. You know the pickpockets? The pickpockets, Sorry? do you know what is a pickpocket? No. Pickpocket is is a rover. It's oh. a rover in the bus. <laughs> yeah. 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 They get your stuff and you don't feel anything. Yes. Later you say, oh, and my cell phone, where's my cell phone? Right? Because of the pickpockets. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. All right. Good answer. Good answer. I always take the bus. How about you? How about you, Mario Hernandez? How about you? Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. I go, I go to the work and my motorcycle. Okay, what is the preposition? What is the correct preposition for, for that? Oh, um, I on, go to my work mm -hmm. on my motorcycle. Uh, on, I don't recommend you to, to use on, okay? You need to use okay. by. By, okay. By my motorcycle. How do you, how do okay. you spell the preposition by, guys? How do you spell the preposition by? B. Uh, wait. B yeah, y. y correct y. by I go to work by my motorcycle. How about you, Lara? How do you get to work every day? How about you, Tatiana? How do you get to work every day? No lo escucho muy bien, teacher. Oh, oh, no problem, no problem. Okay, guys, no problem. Um, let's move on, let's move on. I hope this topic is clear. Somebody has any question about this one? Alguien tiene una pregunta, una consulta de esto, de lo que vimos? If not, no, it's clear. It's clear as horchata or as crystal water, huh? Horchata. As horchata, so I need to repeat it. <laughs> okay, I'm going <laughs> to go over the attendance here. Let me check your attendance tonight. Do we have over here the following students? Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar? Present teacher. Good evening. Um, Alicia Esmeralda Romero? Carolina Stephanie Hernandez Romero. Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz. I am present, teacher. Okay, great. Mr. Douglas, 
then Edgar Rolando Arias Rivas. Present teacher. All right, good evening. Um, how about Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacon? Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. I'm here, teacher. Mm, Edwin Cortez. Um, how about Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya? Irving Joel Moran Gonzalez. Josué Eduardo Gutierrez Salguero. Julio César Caridad Valiente. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Ok. María Elena Linares Díaz. I'm here. Ok, good evening. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Hi, I'm here. All right, great to have you around, sir. In Mónica Maricela Martínez Pineda. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla López. Present teacher. Patricia, okay. Very well. Ramón Antonio Escoto Abarca. Present teacher. Ok. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. Y Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Present teacher. Ok. Thank you. So we are, let me see, we are in total. 11 students, ok. Como el 50% de la clase. No sé exactamente qué les estará pasando a los demás um, compañeros de ustedes. Right. Pero bueno, eh, debemos eh, saber que pues um, tenemos que cumplir con el 80% right, de la asistencia. Ok. So, thank you guys for your punctuality. Let's get started with our book. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me share my book. Creo que hoy sí ya todos tenemos el libro, ¿verdad? El libro correcto. Yes. Let me share the one now on my screen. Please confirm if you can visualize. Can you visualize my screen? Yes. Can you? Can you see it? Can you see it or can you not see it? Yes, yes, see it. I can yes. see it. Repeat, I can see it. I can see it. I can see, I can see, it. see, I can see it. it. I can see it. Oh, okay. Very well. So let me make it a little bit bigger for your likes. Okay. And here's today's, tonight's actually objective is describe regular activities in the workplace. These are regular activities in the workplace. So we continue using simple present, simple present, okay? It says, what are the three first things you do on Mondays? Uh, this is not this is not like your daily routine like in your house no 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 this is in your company in your job once you get to your company what are the three first activities that you do on mondays do you understand yes uh-huh can you give me an answer yes. only monday uh -huh, only on, only on Monday. What are what are the first three in my activities case, that you I do have, on Monday? Uh, I in my case, I get a meeting. 
okay, I have a meeting. So you can say, I attend. I attend a meeting. Okay, what else? It's three activities. I, I attend a meeting. I make a report. I make a report. And I? Yes? Three activities that you do in your company. The first three activities that you do in your company. I, uh, and also as I supervise of co-workers. Perfect, perfect. Go, go ahead. Mario, you have an example for us? Yes, uh, I check the status of projects. Status, okay. I check the status of the projects. Okay, next. It's three activities, Mario. The first three activities. And, and the next question is, how many times a day do you? What do you? Check your email. Hmm. How many times? Cuántas veces? How many times a day? Cuántas veces al día? Repeat. How many times a day? How, how many, many times, times a day times. do you check your email? Do you check your email? So we have two questions. The first question is this. What are the first three things you do on Mondays? And the what? second question is, how many times a day do you check your email? Do you have an example for us? <clears throat> Remember, if you need vocabulary, you can ask, teacher, how do you say in English? And you can ask questions, okay? Yes? For example, Douglas was telling us some examples. Mario said one example as well, right? I check the status of the projects. You need to add two more activities there, Mario. Two more activities. I, I have a daily meeting in Scrum. Okay. Mm -hmm. And? Uh, and um, I remember uh, send emails to uh, customers. Send emails to? To customers. To customers. Okay, so we're kind of imagining, right? We're using the imagination that these are maybe the three first activities that you do on Monday in your company, of course. Okay, thank you for the example. I Somebody. Took my cell phone. Okay. I took my cell phone by email. Okay, okay. And, and, and how many times? Do you check your email a day? Excuse me, can you repeat? Please? Yes, we have two questions, remember? This is the second question. How many times a day do you check your email? I check, I check my, my email, email uh, a lot of uh, A lot of times. Most times, yes. Okay. <laughs> what did you say, Mario? About uh, 20 times. Mm -hmm. Okay, but remember, remember, you need to provide a complete idea. You need the subject. You need the activity, okay? This is simple present statements. I check, I, I 
check my email. Yeah? Yes. yes. I yes. check my email. I How do you say? Email. How do you say una vez al día? Uh -huh. Una vez al día? One times. Once a day. Excelente. Once a day. Repeat. Once a day. Once, once a day. day. Repeat. I check my email once a day. I check my email. I once. check my email. Repeat. I check my day. email once a day. I check I my email. email. Once a day. I check my email once a day. Excellent. How do you say those veces? How do you say those veces? Twice a day. Excellent. Twice a day. Repeat. Twice. Twice a day. Twice Two a times. Day. Twice a day. I twice a day. check my email twice a day. Repeat. I check my email twice a week. Twice, I check my uh, twice day. a day. Twice day. a day. Yes. Good pronunciation. Good pronunciation. <laughs> okay. Day. Tres veces. ¿Cómo serían day. tres veces? La palabra couple no se puede utilizar, teacher. Se puede utilizar a couple. Couple. A couple of times. Sería a couple of times. Okay. A couple of times. Uh, Mario dice, I check my email two times. Eh, sí, se puede. Pero, pero, pero para, para una vez y para dos veces están más que todo las palabras once and twice. Eso les quería decir que ya después comenzamos con three. Ya si son tres veces sería el número ya. Three times. O así como dice Mario, ¿verdad? No. Two times. Eh, pero en teoría me gustaría que usaran once, si es una vez. Twice, si es dos veces. Y de tres en adelante ya podemos usar three times, four times, sí. five times. Yes. And word few. Se puede utilizar. A few times también. A few times. Ya estás hablando okay. con los quantifiers. Sí, es correcto. That's right, sir. Thank you. Okay, so answer me, talk to me. For example, me guys, the first three things I do on Monday. Hmm. First, I check my email. Okay. Next, okay, tratemos de usar esas palabras porque nos están pidiendo tres actividades. Okay. First, right? Comenzamos. First, I, and you give the activity. Then you can say next, right? Next. Next. I. And then. And then. And yes. Then. Yes. Yes. So first, I check my email. Next, I check any important message on my social media. <laughs> and then. I, let's see, I check my motorcycle. <laughs> so that's my first three things I do on Monday. What are the first three things that you do on Monday? Uh-huh. Talk to me. First, I drive my car. Okay. Next, I have a breakfast. Okay. And then I have a meeting. All right. Amazing talking. All right. Somebody else? You want to try? And, and, and how many times a day do you check your email, Douglas? Hello? How many times a day do you check your email? I check my email a lot of a lot of day. Of a lot day. of times. A lot of times. Okay. Okay, very well. Another student, please. 
what are the first three things you do on Mondays? And how many times do you check your email a day? Uh -huh. English students, English participants, this is the moment. Talk to me. Twice daily. I'm sorry, Patricia, can you repeat your example? Twice daily. Twice a day? Yes. Okay, so the complete idea, Patricia, is I, I, and the activity, check. I check the, the email. I check twice. my, I check my email. I check my email twice day. day. Twice a, twice a day. A daily. Daily, mm -mm. O, o me dice twice a day, porque daily es diariamente. Mm -hmm. Ok, y entonces usted quiere decirme que lo revisa dos veces diariamente, ¿sí? Yes. Ok, so you say I check my email uh, twice <laughs> daily. Twice Is correct? daily. Ok. Ok. Yes, yes, yes. Good job. And um, what are three activities? Three activities, three things you do on Monday, Patricia. Um, I report to the boss. I check my mails. Your your mails uh -huh. or your emails? No, my emails. Okay, your emails. Okay. I coordinate the solid waste collection route. Excellent, excellent. So those are three activities that you do on Monday. Very important. Yes. Thank you for the information. Somebody else? Uh huh. Somebody else? I. Me, 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 me. Okay, me, go me, ahead, me, Maria. Me, me. <laughs> okay. At first, I I take a bus. Okay. Then, then I turn on the computer in my job, and and then I I clean. Clean receptions. Okay. Okay. So first you take the bus, right? Yes. Okay. And then? And then I I turn on the computer. I turn on. Re repeat. Um, I turn on. I turn on the computer. Okay. Very good. Repeat, everybody. I turn on the computer. I turn, I turn on. I turn on. I turn on the computer. Turn on, turn on the computer. All right. And good job. I, I clean the reception in my job. And after that, you actually clean your your work area. You clean the reception. Yes. Okay, that's nice. And how many times a day do you check your email, Maria? I I check my email. Uh, Twice, twice, uh, every day. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Thank you for the information. Great job. Thank okay, you. somebody else? Sure, are you sure? Somebody else? No more practice. Okay, guys, let's move on. We have a conversation right here, okay? We need to go over. Um, we're going to listen and we're going to repeat, okay? So please listen okay. and then you repeat. What do you do every Monday morning? Repeat. What do you do? What do you do every Monday? Every morning? Monday morning. What do you do every Monday morning? Repeat. What do you do? What, what do, do you do? do? What do you do? Wait, 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 wait. What do you do? What, what do you, you do? do? Or deduct that. What do you do? What, what do, you do? do you do? What do you do? Repeat. What, what do you do? What, what do you do? do? What do you do? What do you do? Reducted is what do you do? 
What you do you do every Monday morning? Every Monday morning. Every Monday morning. Do you do you understand the question? Do you understand? Yes. Yes. What do okay, you do? Okay. What do you do? 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 Every Monday morning. Repeat. I I check my email. I check, I, I check my email. 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 I and email. I call clients. And I and call I clients. Call clients. Client. Clients. Clients. Client. Clients. Clients. Client. And I call clients. I and I call clients for the rest. For the morning. For the rest of the morning. For the rest of the morning. For the rest of the morning. What about you? 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 About you. What, what about, about you? you? What? About? About? What about you? 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 Excellent. Excellent. Y que haya cerca de ti, ¿verdad? Y que haya cerca de ti. What about you? Okay, repeat. I have, I have, I have, have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have to read, read a weekly, a weekly, weekly report. report. I have I have to read a weekly report. A weekly report. A weekly report. And attend. 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 A meeting. A meeting. And attend a meeting. And attend a meeting. I have to read a weekly report. 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 Qué buena pronunciación, chicos. Nice job. Repeat. And attend the meeting. And attend the meeting. Attend. Attend a and attend a meeting. Attend a meeting. And attend a meeting. Do you understand? I have to read. Ahí el have ya no es de posesión. Como cuando ustedes decían, I have a car. I have a house. ¿Se acuerdan, verdad? Base con uno. Aquí es ya como responsabilidad. Cuando usted dice have. Uh, es que es su responsabilidad, es su obligación, es su deber. I have, have to, read. to read. Yo tengo que leer. I have to read. I have to read. And I attend a meeting. And attend a meeting. What is attend a meeting? And attend a meeting. Attend a meeting. Atender una reunión. Es como asistir, pero asistir de presenciar, ¿verdad? De, 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 de hacer presencia, ¿verdad? Atender una reunión. Correcto. Attend a meeting. Uh, para agregar información, ocupemos also. Repeat, also. 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 A-L-S-O. Also. Para additional information. Additional information. Pónganle ahí. I also have to also, organize meetings also i also i also have, have to, organize to organize meetings organize or organize organize meetings meetings every 
every have to two every Mondays. Monday. Every, every Monday. Every two Mondays. Two Mondays. Every Estoy two Mondays. dando la frecuencia de cada cuánto hago mi, mi actividad. I also, I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. Every two repeat, Monday. repeat. I have to organize meetings every two Mondays. Every two Mondays. Repeat. How often? 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 You can say, how, you can say, how often, how, how, often, how, often, how, how often, often, or, or how often, how often, how often, how often, how often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Repeat. How often? How often do you check your email? How, how often do you check your email? Hey, hey es diferente que yo les diga a ustedes. Do you check your email? Do you check your email? Ustedes solo van a decir yes I do. Yes, no I, I don't. Do. Pero pero how often es diferente. How often do you check your email? A ver qué estoy preguntando. Frecuencia, frecuencia. ¿Qué tan ¿Con qué a menudo? Tú revisas... ¿Con qué frecuencia revisas? Correcto. Do you check it every day? Repeat. Do you check it? Do you check? Do you, you check, check it? Every day? Check it. Do you check it every check day? It. Shake it. Ya es otra cosa, ¿verdad? Shake it, shake it, shake it. That's different. Do you check it. This is check. Check, check. it. Check. Do you check it every como, day? Como lo revisas. Do you check it every day? Do you check it every day? Y esta es la pregunta de yes or no. Day. Por eso digo acá, yes, I, I do, do actually. Repeat. Yes, yes. I do I actually. ¿Qué palabras podemos abstraer de acá? Es la palabra also para agregar información y esta palabrita actually pongámosla también actually. en su personal vocabulary actually no la traduzcamos interpretation en realidad actually de actually. hecho actually do you check it every day lo revisas todos los días yes I do actually en realidad sí sí lo hago So actually is very important. Repeat, I check it once or twice a day. I check it. I check it once or twice a day. Repeat. I, I check, check it once, once or twice a day. Once or twice a day. Once or twice a day. Once or Or once or twice a day. Bueno, lo reviso una o dos veces, right? I check it once or twice. And Sofia says, great. Repeat, great. great. It is very important. Great. It is very important. It is very important. It is very important. 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 Okay, Important. Okay, okay, okay. Any question about this conversation? ¿Qué, qué significa oh, how often? A ver, chicos. No sé si ya lo repitió. ¿Con qué frecuencia? Lo no escuché. ¿Cada cuánto? Ajá. ¿Qué frecuencia? Okay. Como, como... Cada cuánto, con qué frecuencia haces tú esto, right? Combining, ahí estamos combinando el WH word, que es how often, siempre con el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Do. Y luego subject y luego la actividad. Remember, remember, our topic tonight is regular activities. Regular activities in your workplace. So, check your email is a regular activity, right? Call clients, it's a regular activity. Read a report, attend a meeting, organize meetings, 
These are these are um, activities that you do in your work. Let's practice this conversation. Teacher Kalev is going to interpret Sophia's role. And all these participants here on, at basic two, you will interpret Mario's role. Okay? You ready? Yes. Yes or no? You ready to yes. practice? Three, two, one. I start. What do you do every Monday morning, guys? I check my email. Check my email. I call for the rest. What about you? What about you? Excellent. I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do. Yes, I check it once or twice a day. Right, um, a day. Great, it is very important. All right, nice pronunciation, guys. You now start, you now start. You will interpret Sophia's role and I will interpret Mario's role. Ready? On three, two, one, go. What do you do, you do every Monday, Monday morning? Monday. Every I'm Monday. sorry, can you repeat? I don't understand. What do you do, do, you every, do Monday? every morning? morning. Every Monday morning. morning. I check my email. And I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly and at an appearance. I also have to organize meeting every Monday. I meet you Monday. Do you check it? Do you check it every day? Do you check it every day? Do you check it or do you check it? Do you check it? Do you check it? Do you, do you check, check it? it? Yes, day. I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great. It is great. Very important. It is a very, very important. important. Great. It is very, very important. important. It's, it's very important. It is ever important. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, okay, okay. Um, now we're going to we're going to answer these questions. Look, we have two questions. What activities do Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? Do you remember? What activities do Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? Check check the image. They check the image. Mario, the person. Mario. Mario checks. Mario Muy bien. Ahí lo que tenemos que hacer es, como vamos a hablar de él, ¿qué vamos a hacer con el verbo? Sí. Add the la, S. La S. He has. Correcto. Tenemos que agregarle, tenemos que modificar el verbo en su tercera persona. En este caso, check. La tercera persona sería. Checks. Checks. Entonces Check. diríamos Mario checks. Mario checks. My email. Mario sería checks. my email o sería his email. His email. His email. Sí, porque no revisaría el mío, sino el de él, ¿verdad? Entonces sería Mario checks. checks. Escribimos checks. esa S y también la pronounce. You pronounce Mario checks. His email. Mario checks his email. Mario checks his email. Ajá, ajá. And? And? and he called clients. Clean, clean, clean. And he? Calls. He calls. Calls. He calls. I call. Clients. I call. You call. But Mario calls. 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 And he calls clients. Yes, and he calls clients for the rest of the morning. What about Sofia? What does Sofia do on Mondays? She reads a weekly report and attends a meeting. 
Correct. She reads the person. She reads a weekly report. Si lo diríamos de esa forma, ¿verdad? También pudimos haber dicho acá usando el have en tercera persona. A ver. Have en tercera persona. Has. has. Correct. She has to read. Ella debe de leer. It's an obligation. She has to read a weekly report and attends a meeting. Also, also, she, also, she, oh, has, to she has to organize meetings every two Monday. Very nice. Very nice. Bueno, vamos a cambiarle las actividades por las que ustedes hacen, las que ustedes han dicho. Right? Entonces le van a cambiar acá. Check my email. Call clients. Y acá van a cambiarle um, read a weekly report. Lo van a personalize with your activities. Yes? For example, I'm going to do the first role play with, let me see. Mario, are you ready, Mario Hernandez? Yes. Ready to practice with the teacher? Yes. Okay, this conversation, the same conversation, but personalized. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I let am, me let me I interpret Sophia Mario's. Or, or Mario. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're gonna play Sofia's role and I'm gonna play Mario's role. Ready? Okay, Let's go. Ready. Um what do you do every Monday morning? Well, I check my social media, my WhatsApp and my Facebook. <laughs> I prepare my classes for the next days. And I send a report to my boss. What about you, Mario? Okay, I have a daily meeting scrum and uh, check my email and uh, send emails to customers every every days how often do you check your mail you check your do you check check it check it every day do you check it do you check, check it. it every check day it. um yes i do actually i check it like three or four times a day great it's very important. Nice job, Mario. Nice job, sir. You have to interpret now. Um, Mario, you have to be Mario. <laughs> you have to be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to choose one classmate. Can you choose one classmate, Mario, to practice with you? Uh, number again. Yes, please. Okay, aquí al azar, lo siento. <laughs> Yes. Esmeralda Maya. Hola, don Mario. Hola. Hey, Esmeralda, are you ready to practice? Oh, right. Okay, you start. Okay. Um, yes, I am, Sofia. Yes, you're Sofia. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and uh, I send emails for to customers in the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to write a weekly report and I can't a meaning. Uh, I'm sorry, it's gonna be personalized, Esmeralda. Oh. With your, with your activities in your company. Are you ready for that? Um, I have. Well, you need to prepare. I have um, attention. ¿Cómo se atención al cliente? Customer service. Ajá. Entonces acá usted me va a poner acá sus actividades, verdad? En vez de have to read a weekly report, usted me va a decir I have to provide customer service. Yo tengo que proveer servicio al cliente, right? Um, y acá donde dice attend a meeting, me va a poner otra activity que usted haga en su trabajo. Haciendo solvencias. Ajá. Ajá. 
All right. Please practice, please practice, practice your best. Entonces, guys, daily activities, daily activities. Let me hear a role play between Maria. Yeah, Maria Elena and Rolando Arias. Are you ready, Rolando? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Rolando, you will interpret Mario's, Mario's role and Sofia will interpret Maria's role. Maria, you will interpret Sofia's, I'm sorry. Are you ready? Uh, what do you do every Monday morning? Um, I check institutional social network, design banners, take calls on messages. What about you? I I take a bus. Uh, also, I I turn on the computer. And then I clean the reception on my job. And how often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it twice a day. Great, it is very important. Nice job. Good job, Rolando. Good job, Maria. Very well. Just one correction or, or one suggestion, let's say. Um, when it comes about this, check it. Check it. You link the sound. Check it. Check it. Yes. Check it every day. Check it every day. I check it. I check it once or twice. I check it. Yo lo reviso, I check it. Nice job, Rolando. Nice job, Maria. Let me hear some other yeah. students, okay? Let me hear Alex. Are you ready, Alex Ramirez? Yes. Okay. You're going to practice with Monica. Are you ready, Monica Martinez? Eh, Monica está en cirugía ahorita. Oh, oh my goodness. Entonces, solamente está como oyente. Ok, 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 ok. Good to know, good to know. Aquí nos mandó un message, creo yo. Let me see. Good night, sorry, I am a surgery. Oh, ok. Wish you the best. Wish you the best, Monica. Wish you the best. Ok, in that case, you're going to practice with Edwin. Yeah, Edwin. You ready, Edwin? <coughs> ok, so Alex will interpret Sofia's role and Edwin will interpret Mario's role. Are you ready? Let's go. Ok. okay. What, what do you do every day, Monday morning? Um, I send letter of document importance on Monday and I send email address to he employed about to date worst takes and how often do you check your emails? Do you check it every day? And how about you? I have a, I have a watch. Uh, I have a a read a message message WhatsApp uh, every day uh, input um, sales uh, input sales on system and is. Mm. And I have uh, also have to organization organize 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 and um <clears throat> call client call clients and call, call clients call clients. And 
uh, every two Mondays. Continue questions. How often do you check check your email? Do you check do you check it every day? Yes, I do. Actually, I check it once or twice a day. Great. It's very important. It's very important. It's very important. Okay, Edwin, I check it. I check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Okay, check. Check. Yeah, check. 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 Check it. Check, check it. I check it every day. Yeah. I check it every day. Very nice, very nice job. I really like it, guys. I really like it. Good job, good job. Okay, let's move on, guys. Let's move on. I'm sorry. En la medida de los posibles, los haré practicar a todos, right? But we have to move on. Vamos a ver. Me check. Bueno, eh, no sé si ya verificaron eh, muchos, bueno, en el libro les trae algunos links. Entonces hay algunos que ya están como que ya no tienen uso, ya no se pueden accesar, pero um, hay otros que sí, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que ir revisando, hay que, bueno, lo que les aconsejaría es ir guardando quizás, ¿verdad? Cada link para que ustedes lo, lo estudien aparte. All right. Right now, I'm about to check. We have a video to watch. We have a video to watch. I'm going to send you a link. Okay, porque por cuestiones de, de protocolo con el um, YouTube, no podemos pues, presentar esos videos. Pero ustedes necesito que se me vayan a este um, link. Okay. Go ahead. Watch this one, please. Les va a tomar, let me check, eight minutes, eight minutes. Así que váyanse al link and watch the video, tomen notas y luego discutimos al respecto.
Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Great. Did you finish watching the video? Did you finish it? Yes, teacher. Okay, what expression did you learn? No, give me a minute. Oh, you need a minute? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll give you two minutes. Two more minutes, okay? Go ahead. Okay, I think it's time. Did you finish? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. Perfect, perfect. So what did you learn? Any comments? Any comments about the video? Any question? Any comment about it? Okay, nothing, nothing new. Solo uh, una pregunta. Eh, decía que en sugerencias para terminar este, los correos podíamos escribir war wishes. Correct. ¿Eso qué significaba? Como best wishes. Yes. It te puso ahí como kind regards, como warm wishes, como salud, deseos, los mejores deseos, como warm wishes. Mm -hmm. También es, como es una despedida uh, amena, ¿verdad? Okay. También como yours, yours truly, right? Como atentamente, ¿verdad? Para usted, right? So this is like goodbye expressions que son como formal, especialmente en un email. Y se podría escribir blessings. Best blessings, como best blessings, las mejores bendiciones. Best blessings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Um, let me see. La expresión que me gusta a mí es... I look forward to. Esta es una expresión super común. Repeat. I look forward to. I, I look, look forward, forward to. to. Después de ese to viene un gerundio. Cualquier verbo que vamos a ubicar tiene que ir con ing. I look forward to hearing from you. Um, I look forward to meeting you. I look forward to your reply. I look forward to your visit. Okay, es como estoy 
entusiasmado, ¿verdad? Por esto. I look forward. I look forward for um, your graduation. Ah, ok. Estoy como que positivo por tu graduación. I look forward. That's a good expression. A ver, ¿alguien más? Someone else. Cuando copiamos en un correo, ¿cómo podemos decir? CC. I CC. Correct. Hey, I CC you on an email. Yeah? I CC you on an email. Te copié, right? Te puse copia ahí en un correo. I CC you. These are technical expressions, of course, right? Uh, ¿Qué tal de la expresión? Please don't hesitate. Ese verbo, hesitate. Repeat, hesitate. 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 Como, como titubear, no titubees, no lo dudes y me llamas. Please don't hesitate to contact me. <laughs> please, please don't hesitate to contact me. Repeat. Please don't hesitate. To please don't hesitate. To contact me. Repeat. Please, Please don't hesitate to contact. Contact me. Contact. It's please. Don't, don't hesitate. Please don't hesitate to contact me. Yes. To contact me. Please don't hesitate to contact me. Repeat. Please don't hesitate to contact me. Please, Please don't hesitate, hesitate to contact me. me. Please. Guys, Please. tratemos de sacar lo más que podamos de vocabulario. A ver, ¿cómo se dice? How do you say in English un, un archivo de, de computadora? Es como un adjunto. Live. File. File attachment. Sí, correcto. Sería un attachment. Repeat. Attachment. 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 Sí, no vamos a decir computer file porque eso ya sería muy técnico, ¿verdad? Pero un adjunto sí es un attachment. Attachment. Y how do you say cor uh, how do you say um, hoja de vida? Yeah? I don't know. You don't know? No? Resume? Por ahí, por ahí. Resume. 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 R-E-S-U-M-E. Resume. -E. It's on the video. It's on the video. Please check it out. Yes. Resume. Resume. Uh-huh. It says, wow, okay. Okay, what else, what else? Let me see. Bueno, eso es básicamente, ¿cuál? Any question. If you have any question, please. Number four. Uh -huh. Don't hesitate to Don't contact hesitate. me. Ahí hesitate es como, Wait, ¿verdad? No esperes, no te, no te quedes esperando, o sea, llámame. Don't hesitate. Repeat, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Call me. <laughs> Let me see, what else, what else, what else? That's pretty, that's pretty. Oh, how do you say this expression? Había otra expresión bien uh, técnica. Um, I look forward to. Es como cuando yo les doy a ustedes CC, when I CC you on an email, cuando yo les doy a ustedes copia en un correo. Es porque forward? quiero mantenerlos, es porque quiero mantenerlos a ustedes al tanto. Es una expresión que significa 
mantener a alguien al día de algo, mantener a alguien eh, al día, al corriente. No, no se vale ver el video otra vez. <ríe> Era keep someone in the loop. Keep someone in the loop. Keep someone in the loop. Si usted dice, yo estoy, yo estoy eh, al tanto, ¿verdad? Yo estoy oh, al tope de la, de la información. I am in the loop. Repeat, in the loop. In the loop. In the loop. The loop. L -O -O -P. L -O -O -P. L-O-O-P. L-O-O-P. In the loop. Usted está al día, está, ¿cómo se diría? Diría en español, es como que usted está actualizado, right? In the loop, está informado, in the loop. Keep someone in the loop. Como en la misma línea. En la misma línea, correcto. Okay, people, I hope you watch that video. Let's move on. Let me share the book once again. We're going to go into uh, page number 10, if you will. Um, here I'm sharing the book once again. I need your participation. As you remember, your camera must be activated and your participation must be top notch. <laughs> okay, so let's go over this activity here. Page number 10, it says, add two activities, add two activities you do on our regular Mondays. We have some activities right here. On Mondays, I, repeat, check my email. Repeat, check my email. Check, check my, my email. email. Type a letter. Type, type a letter. Type on the computer. Type a letter. Type a letter. Type a letter. Attend a meeting. Attend a meeting. Attend a meeting. Call clients. Call clients. Clients. Read a report. Read a report. Read a report. Visit clients. Visit clients. Organize meetings. Organize meetings. Repeat, organize meetings. Organize, organize, organize hearing. Visit clients. Visit clients. clients. Read a report. Read, Read a, a report. report. Call clients. Call, Call clients. clients. Attend a meeting. Attend, Attend a meeting. Write a report. Write a report. Type a letter. Type a letter. Check my email. Check. Okay, so I need you to include two additional activities here. Two ad additional activities that you do on Mondays. Here. One activity here and one activity here. You need two activities. Write them. Prepare them, please. Prepare, prepare las, por favor. Go ahead. Two activities additionally. Ooh, that's a good question. Okay, preparando sus dos preguntas adicionales, I mean, sus dos actividades, activities, additional activities. Do you have it? 
Do you have your two additional activities? ¿Quién ya las tiene? Que las comparta. Uh -huh. Tienen que ser diferentes de las que tenemos acá, right? Uh -huh. Do you have something for me? Edwin, <coughs> do you have an example? Yes. Go. Yes. And I have my first one is uh, collect taxes. Collect taxes. Okay, listen to that, guys. Collect taxes. Okay, next. Uh, send account statement. Como, como accounting de, de, de contaduría. Ah, enviar estado de cuenta. Okay, yes. Send account. Account statements. Statements. Account statements very yes. well thank you send account statements somebody else has examples go ahead volunteers uh -huh. go please supervise some co-workers supervise some co-workers okay and the other activity Make a report by client. Okay, make a report. Okay, I like that one. Make a report. Thank you. Esmeralda, do you have any activities additionally? Our support um, extend solvents in preparation of the receipts. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. Mario, do you have additional activities for us? Nope. What about Carolina? Do you have something? What about Julio? Do you have something, Julio? Yes. Update the project progress. Up update. Update. Update the project progress. Okay. Update the project progress. Interesting. Send, send reports of key performance indicators. Key. Key, key performance. Key performance. Okay. Indicators. Good job, Julio. Okay. I like it. What about you, Rolando? Do you have something for us? Yes. Go for it. Um, I design banners. Design and, banners. And make advertising. And make advertising. All right. I like that. How about you, Elena? Maria Elena? Yes, um, I schedule, schedule appointment. Okay. And schedule. I... Schedule. Schedule. Repeat, guys. Esa palabra es un poquito difícil. Um, ese schedule viene siendo como, como programar. Podría ser hasta organizar, ¿verdad? Schedule, S C H. Schedule. Is it correct like this? Schedule, S C H E D U L E. Okay. I schedule appointments. I schedule appointments. And I check WhatsApp of my job and Hamster mass messenger. Mess messages. Messages. Message and answer messages. Wow. So you're, pa, 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 pa. you're chatting, you're answering questions. Yes. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Thank you. You're okay. Welcome. Interesting information, guys. Do we have another volunteer before we move on? 
Okay, so let's go ahead and complete the activities in activity five. It says, complete the sentences below with one activity from the box. For example, number one, it was call clients. It was this one, number five here, call clients. It says, I call clients every day. I use my company's phone. Do you understand? Yes? Yes. So you have to use the other activities here to complete items two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and complete them, please. Go ahead. I'll give you time. I'll give you six minutes. Go ahead. Okay, on number six. Ahí tienen que hacerla ustedes, ¿verdad? Es personal. Number six is personal. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go check in some of these um, sentences, okay? Let's go ahead and check them all together. Do we have a volunteer for the second one? Our secretary. Our secretary? Write a letter. Our secretary write a report, then 
she sends the them via email. Hmm. Okay, tú pusiste write. Right. Sería antes de la persona. Writes a report. Okay. ¿Quién la tiene right. diferente? Hello, hello. ¿Alguien la tiene diferente esta? Our secretary. Type a no, letter. La, la misma tengo yo. La misma tienes. Types a letter. Sería en tercera persona. Types. Types. A letter. A letter. Types. <coughs> mm. Debería ser types a letter porque luego dice then, luego she sends, sends then. them via email. Ajá. Entonces las envía vía correo electrónico. Entonces, sí, it's types. Types a letter according to the book, right? Okay. Number three. What do you have for number three? Check my emails. Correct. I, I check my email twice a day. I, I use, use my, my laptop, laptop computer. computer. Así lo teníamos. Si no, pues. Yes. Hacer las corrections ahí. All right, number four. I have to write a report. Write a bueno, report. ahí puede ser variable, ¿verdad? Porque puede ser. Write a meeting. Right, Busy dependiendo. Client. Mm -hmm. Busy client. Correct. Every Monday at 8 a.m., todos los lunes a las 8. Okay, what about number five? Celia. Organize meetings. meetings. Organize meetings. Yes. Celia organizes. En ese caso, tercera persona. Organized. Celia organizes meetings. 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 The meetings take place in the auditorium. Okay. And number six is personal. What do you have for number six? What do you have for number six, um, Edwin? Edwin Rodriguez, what do no, you have for no. number six? No, no la vi, esa no la vi. Ah, Se vaya, hacela entonces ahorita, no problem, te vamos a esperar. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. vámonos entonces con Marielena, what do you have for number six? I... I schedule appointment every day. I schedule, I, I schedule, schedule appointment every day. Appointments. Appointments. Sí, porque son varias, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, vamos a ponerlo en plural. I schedule appointments every day. Thank you. What about you, Ramon? Number six. And I visit the client on Friday morning. Very well. I visit clients, it's plural. I visit plural. clients every Friday. All right. Every Friday. Good job. Okay, let's go with Mario. What do you have for number six, Mario? I'm not ready, teacher. No worries, take your time. You and Edwin, you go at the end. What about you, Carolina? What do you have for number six? Nope. What about you, Julio? What do you have for number six? I send the weekly plan to my boss. The weekly? Weekly. Yes. I send the weekly plans to my boss. Hey, how do you send the weekly plans? Do you send them via email? Yes, yeah, via email. Okay, you can put via email at the end to give more information. That's good, man. That's good example. Right. What about what about Patricia? What do you have, Patricia Bonilla, for number six? Okay, I supervise that the park is clean. 
You supervise that the park is clean. Yes. Nice. I understand you. Nice job. Okay. What about you, um, Esmeralda? What do you have? Uh, I am I checking a to assistant in customer service. I check. I checking. Okay, nice, nice, nice. What about you, Rolando? What do you have? I check institutional social network every morning. The institutional social network every morning. So you have to be on top of the status, on top of the news, right? <laughs> That's good. How about you, Laura? What's your number six? I update a status from container every day. Interesting, interesting. Thank you. What about you, Monica? What is your number six? What do you have for us? What about you, Tatiana? What do you have? ¿Cuál pregunta, perdón? La última, Miss. La última es suya, es personal. Number six. It's personal. In my job, I make sales every day. Nice. You make sales every day. So you promote the um, company's products? Claro. Of course, of course. Thank you. Yes. What about you, Douglas? What do you have for us on number six? Uh, every day in the morning, I have a meeting with representatives. Uh, we took... Uh, about the aircraft. We talk about the aircrafts. Repeat, representatives. Representatives. Esa palabra es larguísima. La podemos escribir. Representatives. Representatives. You can say representatives. Representatives. Repre of, representatives. Uh, yeah, representative of airlines. O puede decir reps. Rep. Reps. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. What about you, Alex Anok? Uh, este, eh, no he comprendido así este, eh, la pregunta, ¿verdad? Tengo que hacer una pregunta, tengo que describir mi, mi actividad. Sí, como aquí, aquí habías puesto dos de las tuyas, ¿verdad? Dos actividades tuyas de tu trabajo. Entonces, acá en las seis tenías que poner una tuya, usando una de esas dos actividades. Ok. Uh... Uh, y cómo se diría yo ingreso ventas en un sistema ok I document my sales in the system Ay. o puedes decir también como es para un registro verdad para un cuestión sí. de registro ok I keep track I keep track. ¿Dónde está aquí? aquí está. I keep track sales. Ajá. Uh -huh. I keep track of I the sales. Of the sales. In the system. In the system. I keep Muy track. Muy buena. In the system. Okay. I chat it to you. Okay. I keep track of the sales in I the keep system. keep track of the sales in the system. Thank you so much, Alex. What about you, Elwin? Ya estamos ahí? Rodriguez? Yes, yes, okay, yes. go for it, go for it. I call clients in the morning every day. I call clients in the morning every day. Excellent. What company do you work for, Edwin? Talleres Arti. Talleres Arti. 
Sarti. Sarti. Yes. Sarti shops. Huh? Sarti no. shops. Sarti shops. Talleres, right? Yes. Como, como de mecánica. Mechanical. Yes. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Good job, good job. Mario, do you have something for us? Yes, no? <laughs> you got it? What is the question? Oh, uh, la, la última, number six. Estamos impacientes para saber cuál es la tuya. Acá, number six. It's a personal example in your company, right? One activity in your company. Uh, mía o de la... Yours. O de la empresa. Yours. Ok. Eh, sí, es que no estoy listo, teacher. Estaba, estaba aquí. Oh, estás una, busy. Una... Ok, ok, ok. Sí, no perdón. problem. Remember that it's going to be similar activities like check my email, type a letter, write a report, attend a meeting, call clients, read a report, visit clients, organize meetings, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so that's pretty much. Let's see. Okay. Okay, it says activity C. It says select five activities um, from the box in exercise two. Write one question to interview a classmate. Okay, from activity, from exercise two. Let me see exercise two here. Okay, these are the activities on exercise two. Check your email, call clients, read a weekly report, attend a meeting, and organize meetings. We're going to make questions. For example, do you... Do you check your email, guys? Do you check your email every day? All day. Every day, right? Yes, I do. All day. All day. By a call clients, ¿cómo podría ser la pregunta? Can you help me? Call clients. Podemos usar esta parte. How often? ¿Qué tan frecuente? How often do you call clients? Call, yes. Call client. How often do you call clients? How often do you call clients, guys? How often do you call clients? Always? Every day. Every and day. Every Friday. And all day. Every Friday, all day, okay. Yes. Very well, that's, that's interesting. It's customer service and sales. Customer service and sales, so you have to be calling and calling and calling. Uh, no, uh, how do you say? Back to back. Así, así se dice, back to back, no. Sí, que o sea, estás llamada, quiere, estás llamada. No, pero cuando se quiere decir no, no es así o no estoy llamada tras llamada. No, it's not, it's not back to back. It's not it's, back to back. Okay. Oh, okay. Inbound, okay. inbound call. Inbound calls only. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Interesting, Tatiana. That's interesting. That's very interesting. A ver, organize meetings. ¿Quién me ayuda a hacer una pregunta? Make a question. Organize meetings. How often do you make a meeting? Organize. How often do you organize meetings? Organize Good meetings. job. Good job. How often do you organize meetings? Okay. Interesting. Okay. So this is what we saw. It says, right, what you do on a regular work day, check with your classmates to see how many are similar. Okay, we're gonna stay right there with that one. I'm gonna stop sharing and we're gonna go over the attendance 
before I forget. Antes que se me escape. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Guys, we're going to go over the attendance once again. Let me know if you are here. Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. Present teacher. Alicia Esmeralda Romero. Carolina Stephanie Hernandez Romero. Present. Okay. Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz. Present. Edgar Rolando Arias Rivas. Present teacher. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacón. Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Present. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Irving Joel Moran Gonzalez. Josué Eduardo Gutierrez Salguero. Julio Cesar Caridad Valiente. Here, teacher. Awesome. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. María Elena Linares Díaz. Present. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Present. Mónica Maricela Martínez López. Cirugía. Oh, yeah, surgery. Sorry. Uh, pero le voy a poner aquí presente, Miss, porque ha estado ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, Miss Patricia Beatriz Bonilla López. Present teacher. Ok, Ramón Antonio Escoto Abarca. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. Ok, absent. And Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you, Vanessa, Tatiana, Vanessa. How do you get to work, Tatiana, Vanessa? What, teacher? Sorry. How do you get to work? I get the work um, 6 a.m. No. No. The question is not what time. The question is how. Okay. how. Do you understand? I take How? transportation. I, I take a bus. Excellent. I take a bus very well. Okay, people. Um, we will continue practicing simple present statements. Okay. Let me share a video real quick. Right there. Don't add an S, and the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb. So every time there is an auxiliary Okay. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. Okay, remember that for affirmative, you use the subject and you use the verb. For example, I walk to school. Is that affirmative? Or negative or question? Affirmative. It's affirmative. And then you have a negative. I don't live far from here. I don't live. Yo no vivo lejos. I don't live far from here. So affirmative and negative. Okay. Continue. You ride your bike to school. 
You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, you need to follow this formula. Subject plus verb plus complement. For example, I walk to school. is the subject, walk is the verb, and um, to school is the complement. Okay, that is for affirmative. I, the verb, walk, complement, to school. That is affirmative. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You is the subject. Ride is the verb. Your bike to school is the complement. There is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well. And that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to the third person, we're talking about he, she, and it. So the rule is, in the simple present, whenever we make statements with the third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that particular rule. Bueno, ahí estamos hablando ya de una regla de la tercera persona. No sé cómo están ustedes familiarizados con esa regla. Um, para que pues la, la verifiquemos el día de mañana. Um, ¿Cómo sienten este tema de los uh, affirmative statements? Estamos ahorita entrando a los affirmative statements en negative statements. En los negativos ya tenemos que usar los auxiliares como don't o doesn't. Any questions? Any comments? Sí, este bueno, tema es... Los... Ajá, Alex. Sería bueno repasar antes de... Sí, correcto. Por eso no quería como que entrarme mucho al tema ahorita. Eh, de hecho, ya se nos acabó el tiempo. Pero mañana, guys, vamos a comenzar con las reglas de esto. Porque esto es súper importante que lo manejemos. Um, créanme que es um, hablar correctamente, ¿verdad? Súper importante gramaticalmente no cometer errores en el tiempo presente simple. Y este es uno de los retos, las terceras personas. Pero... We're going to do that tomorrow. Ok. Um, Rolando Arias. Rolando, dinos. ¿Qué aprendiste este día, Rolando? What did you learn today? Creo que decirlo en inglés se me complicaría, Rich. <laughs> ¿Cómo te sentiste? Bueno, si, si, se, si se vale decirlo en español. Sí, claro. Aún estamos eh, en básico 2. Eh. Bueno, me ha gustado mucho conocer eh, cómo poder eh, responder al momento de, de, de usar un correo electrónico. Ha sido bastante sustancial porque de hecho desconocía la mayoría de, de tips, los desconozco, pero ahora creo que eso no va a quedar en saco roto. Voy a comenzar a estudiarlo porque soy muy malo memorizando. Creo que por eso es que se me dificulta el inglés. Muchas cosas se me olvidan, pero... Vamos a hacer el intento de aprender. Sí, como es otro idioma, entonces es importante verlo no solamente una vez, sino repetidas veces, multiple times, para que se nos quede. El, el link, no sé si lo, lo, lo alcanzaron a obtener. Sí. El link del video. No, no sé si lo podría pasar al WhatsApp. 
al WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Ahorita se los voy a mandar al WhatsApp, chicos. Entonces, you, sí, eso es súper importante con lo de los correos electrónicos. Como decía, decía Rolando, guys, siempre vamos a hacer un poquito de todo. Entonces, vamos a tener un video eh, si aplica. Y pues hay que sacarle el máximo a esos videos, ¿verdad? Porque hay mucho uh, material, hay mucha información que obtener. Ok, guys, so needless to say, needless to ask you, good job tonight, say good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Ok, see you tomorrow. Sure, see you Goodbye, tomorrow. everyone. Goodbye, class. Bye, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Good job tonight. Good job. Get a pat on your back. Get a pat on your back. Good job, man. Sweet <laughs> okay. dreams. Thanks, teacher. Good night. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Bye bye. Bye.